What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the Master Lee's Raccoon from Ichiban Kuji, the Ginyu Force. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I make a brand new video, like this video if you enjoy it, and of course comment your thoughts down below in the comment section at the end of the review so that we can have a discussion. If you'd like to support the channel even further, you can become a member today that'll give you access to our Discord server with a helpful community, tips, and tools to help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. <laughs> So this Raccoon is based off of Raccoon from Dragon Ball Z's Namek Saga. This Master Lee's figure is an Ichiban Kuji release. If you want to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, check the video in my description below to learn more about that after this review is done. If you'd like to also find out where to buy figures like Raccoon, also check the video in my description after this review so you can possibly pick this up at some of my recommended shops. So this Raccoon specifically is based off of Raccoon from chapter 79 when he steps forward to fight Vegeta but tells Goldo to fight the others first. He was released on April 8, 2023 along with the rest of the Ichiban Kuji set. The figure itself comes at 10.92 inches, a great size for a figure. Weight in box is 2 pounds 8.6 ounces. His weight on his own is 1 pound 14 ounces. The figure itself comes with his upper body, lower body, and support. So my girlfriend's gonna kill me for saying this, but you do well, <laughs> you do well. Uh, I, <laughs> Raccoon is so funny, man. Uh, it's just such a weird, funny character. Um, and it's so crazy now that we have an Ichiban Kuji masterlies of the big man himself. So he's, uh, he's not um, a gigantic figure, which he shouldn't be, you know? Raccoon is, is a big guy, but not like humongous. Um, he's a little bit bigger than Captain Ginyu, uh, 10.92 inches but before we get into all that uh character uh, choice five out of five uh, obviously i think you can expect pretty much the entire ginyu force in this uh kuji series to get a five out of five in regards to the character choice for me um i love raccoon he's one of my favorite members i think he's probably one of the more memorable members just because you know his fight lasted so long against the z fighters it wasn't quick like goldos or birders and jace um his is a little bit more memorable especially because he kicked the crap out of vegeta gohan and krillin um so love that uh his likeness though his likeness is so good um just like ginyu they did a great job with that little smirk he's got a very well crafted face they did his hair so well man his little floofy hair on his head um the scouter super cool just he looks exactly like raccoon in the face they even got his little butt chin and everything man um the uh, sculpt is amazing um like i said big high quality figure lots of details on his armor his gloves you can see like the little ripples in his gloves all of his muscles are super defined everybody in the ginyu force has some like big cheeks bro like like fat tight butts <laughs> uh, no homo but uh yeah and then the hair obviously you see all the little strands of hair on his head um, the scouter is translucent, just like uh, all the other ones, so you can see right through it and see his eye, so it kind of almost looks like glass, so just an awesome job on the sculpt itself. Paint is another 5 out of 5. Uh, paint is really good. Um, they just have that more realistic looking finish to the armor <clears throat> with some really good shading on the whites of his armor, the whites of his glove, his uh, skin, um, the browns of his armor. And uh, I think even his hair, yeah, his hair has some shading too. So just an awesome job painting these figures. It feels like the Ginyu Forests were, were made 
by a different sculptor than the two Gokus that are in this set. Um, and, and well, obviously, if you haven't seen the first Goku review and the upcoming Goku review, you'll you'll see my thoughts on those. But yeah, easily um, a five out of five for paint. And obviously, the size, as I mentioned earlier, he's a really good size. He's almost 11 inches tall. Um, just a great size for big old Raccoon. So he's going to get a five out of five there as well. So it's going to be hard doing a tier list for these guys, I think, because uh, I'm going to give this Raccoon an easy five out of five along with Goku. Uh, he's a great size. Uh, I think if you have the ability to pick up the entire Ginyu Force in this set, you absolutely have to. But Raccoon is just fantastic, and I highly recommend you go pick him up. He's a 5 out of 5. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like and share this with somebody. And of course, comment your thoughts on this figure down below in the comment section so that we can have a discussion. If you want to become a member today, it's only three bucks a month. That helps you support or helps me support the channel uh, even further. Um, we're already starting to do giveaways. So the more members that we have, the more people that can be included in those giveaways and the better the prizes will become. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.